Uh, any other uh, news stories this week? Take some letters. Uh, well, before we get to that, uh, Willie, I really got to say something about the letters. I feel like the letters this week, like I can just feel it in my gut. They're really soulless compared to the letters from last week. Do you know what I mean? Do you, do you know what I'm trying to say here? They're soulless. I just, I don't know. Your volume. No, is. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. These le these letters are a masterpiece. They're clearly a masterpiece. They're gonna be great. They're gonna be a masterpiece. No, wait. I'm just kidding. They're soulless again. They're soulless. They're ridiculous. They're totally without soul. No, no soul here. Why are you turning your volume down? Well, you see, Wooly. <laughs> A really, really funny video came out this week. Really funny. You know Crove Cat? Yeah. The guy who does um, the... Did the, did the, the, the review of the... Um, what, what was the video? What do they eat? No, you're thinking of Mr. B-Tongue. No, no. Crove Cat's the guy who uh, makes videos that are just compilations of clips from like E3 and whatnot. Oh, uh, that's and, right, and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those. Yes, um, yes, yes. So he made a, a video called uh, Soul versus Soulless Resident Evil 4 comparison mm -hmm. over the weekend, uh, which compared various elements and like shot, contrast shot from uh, RE4 Remake to the original. Okay. Um, and it was, uh, you know, just a, a comparison. The, the description says, make your own, uh, make your own co conclusions. Um, and it was like, it was really crazy because like the RE4 original clips like looked really good and had really excellent ambient audio and, and cool music. And then, um, all the RE4 remake vid clips had like oh, no ambient audio at all and like and no music and had all these missing features and yeah. it was really sad. And it was like, oh wow, they really didn't do a very good job with the RE4 remake. Except, like, within, like, a couple minutes, people were like, why did you intentionally lower the audio of every single clip from the RE4 remake? Oh, no. Why did you cherry pick every room that had dynamic audio and then just had killed all the enemies and then recorded those rooms so that there would be oh, no music playing? No. Why did you do that? So, a day later, all of a sudden... The video changes its title to Resident Evil 4 Remake is a Masterpiece. And the description is gone. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no change to the video content, just the title. Just the title. And then when people are like, what are you doing? This is even more disingenuous than the video. A day later, it changes back. <laughs> but now it wait. has the part... Now it has the part in the in the description goes, <laughs> no shenanigans, no shenanigans Wait. anymore. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Are you saying there was a double back down? There was a double back down. <laughs> and let's 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 like okay, so you know let's that's funny and you know all those deleted comments that were criticizing him, those are all gone. Um, and the pinned the pinned uh thread in that youtube video is a fan of his saying look he didn't he didn't mess with the he didn't mess with the audio at all actually and it was actually just a misunderstanding of what dynamic audio is um because dynamic audio exists now whereas back in 2004 there was no real dynamic range on anything um and um in the comments, he actually said, you know, actually, I had to raise the audio for the RE4 remake stuff. I had to, I had to raise it to get it up to this, which is... And so, like, I saw, like everybody that I follow, including a bunch of devs, were, like, just going, like, this is a bunch of fucking disingenuous bullshit. And it's like, also, you can't back down from your back down. That doesn't work. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yo the power of no commentary gameplay oh dude it's it's crazy so it's it's holy shit man you can change a title <laughs> and change content. an entire like like imagine like if i could just go back and rename the fucking quick look at at uh 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 fucking uh three houses what the 
three houses and just retitle <laughs> that shit. <laughs> and everything's okay now. It's yeah, good. Yeah. I retitled the video. <laughs> Dude, it's 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 fucking it's wild. It's super super fucking wild. Amazing. It, and I've been thinking a lot because people like reacted really strongly to it. Like really like because and I I feel like because there's a lot of content creators like this is bullshit, but like the average, the average gamer, blah, blah, also reacted really strongly. And I was trying to figure out why it like created such an, of a, a, a vitriolic, like intense, like fuck bullshit, like kind of feeling. And all I can understand is that I feel like the average person doesn't understand the power of an edit. So the, the guy's, YouTube channel has been commentaryless forever mm -hmm. and it has just been compare and contrast and that's it and a lot of folks I feel like saw well if you're just comparing this and you're comparing the same thing then there's no voice there's it's just offering you up information mm -hmm. for you to make your own decision because most people don't understand how powerful an edit is as a voice an mm -hmm. edit is so powerful you can do anything with a good edit even with the same two pieces of footage you can do all sorts of shit like i don't know drop the audio out the fucking floor <laughs> that's wild like the starter like is it just like Again, if you're supposed, if the whole commentary list system is leave you to your own conclusions, and then you see that, I don't know about anyone else because I, have, I haven't seen it, but I'm like, to me, that immediately calls into question every other piece of content. Because if you're willing to do that, then how honest are other comparisons going to be? Mm -hmm. You know? Like that. That's a that if this is the one that was caught, like, what does that say for other things? That's so weird. That's so 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 weird. Okay. Well, it's it 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 is it is wild to to watch it like go go down in in real time cuz I saw everybody getting mad at the video, right? I'm like I should go watch it. And then I go to the video, I'm like guys, the video is called RE4 is a masterpiece. What are you all talking about? And then I get hit with like, no, dude, he what? It's that. That's what it's called now, dude. It wasn't that yesterday. I'm like, what were you talking about? It was called this yesterday. And then they send me a screenshot of what the fucking <laughs> what the title was. Oh, all right, and saved. Now live on Wooly Versus. Three houses is a masterpiece. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah it is. <laughs> Done. Dude, that's what it was all about the whole time. Done. Saved. <laughs> Problem solved, guys. Nailed oh, it. Oh man. And just oh, like that. Where, dude, wearing your shitty take on your sleeve is important. History you corrected. Your, you have your terrible take, roll around in your terrible take. Be 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 clothed in your terrible take. <laughs> That's incredible. I that's a that's a and then the tr the double back anyway. All oh, right, dude, all right. So like, okay. like I'm watching it happen in real time. Like who is going to be happy with this? <laughs> who, who like? Oh, Oof, woof bark. All right. If you've got a letter, send it over to Castle Super Beast Mail at gmail dot com. Castle Super Beast Mail at gmail dot com. Make sure your letter has soul though. All right. Did you misspell the word three in your quick I edit? I sure word? did. <laughs> I sure did. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Yeah. Done. SEO. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's see. We got one coming in. Uh, from JMR says, Dear Father Pat and Uncle Wooly, Pat, congrats yep. on your upcoming child. Father Thank of two you. here. 
the only unsolicited advice I'll give you is to remember that uh, the beginning infancy stage may suck, but it doesn't last forever, and it gets better. You know yeah. what that's called, Wolves? Mm -hmm. The fourth trimester. Ah, yeah, okay. Because that, that three months out the womb, they're basically just a big dry fetus. Mm -hmm. they, they're not going to do a whole lot. It's the same as if they were in the womb, but now you're they're just they're, now, now they're your problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're, not, they're not very active in that in that first three months. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've also definitely heard like a whole lot of that though. With the like, as annoying as things get, they're only there for now. For now, it's just I've for also that one been moment. told that you know you're gonna have I'm gonna have sleepless nights, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be like, oh, this baby won't stop. But as soon as as soon as it moves on. I'm gonna be like, oh, oh remember, remember when remember they were that? just exactly. a tiny little baby? Exactly. Exactly. And soon enough, they'll be telling me I'm cringe, and I'm gonna miss the days where they couldn't tell me I'm cringe. <laughs> well, soon enough, you will be cringe. That's, Wooly, that's I was the... born cringe, molded by it. No. No, I'm not gonna do the cool Bane thing. I'm just I was very cringe as a child and it has continued. Hey, there you go. <laughs> See? The cringe move was to not try to make it a based version of a cringe thing. <laughs> if you were to take the Bane line, then that would have oh. tried that'd be trying to be based about being cringe. Very important. Very very good. Um a simple question. Would you let your child win when you introduce them to multiplayer gaming? Absolutely. Without a doubt. Unt until what point? Until they go, hey, are you taking it easy on me? And I go, no. And they go, come on. And they go, okay. That's the okay. moment. Okay. When they realize. Yeah, when they, when they understand what's going on then i will be like okay it's time to die <laughs> now and then now, i will jump up in their face and be like that's well, what you get <laughs> that's what you that's get, what you Carla. get when with you mess with the warrior <laughs> now go tell your mother yeah 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 no you see that's the thing is it's like <laughs> the, the the tears that follow right like those have to be expected there there there's yeah. There is a, a breaking of the enclosure of their understanding, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I remember, okay. Like it's like I my dad did that with pool. We would play pool, and we would play a game. I'm like, Dad, you're good at pool. Come on. And then he he played a game of pool by him fucking self. And then he he told me like, I don't think you will ever ever beat me. And I went, Okay. And how old were you when that <laughs> happened? like i don't know like nine okay so it took some time right? to get like, there well just you know you don't really you know you don't have a pool house pool hall and uh, that pool uh, table in your house usually right so we'd go to the, wherever mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. uh but like for for yeah no like i remember mm -hmm. being like i could like you know uh, telling my dad when i was like six or seven like i bet i could beat you in an arm wrestling or whatever the fuck right he goes, okay, and he just slowly taps my hand down. I go, oh, almost got you. He's like, no. No. Mm -hmm. I go, okay, well, you do it. And he just bounced my fucking child hand off the fucking table. And I'm like, ow. He's like, well, you told me. See, see, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm partial to a school of round one. Absolute domination and annihilation. That, come on, you can't do that. That'll discourage Perfection. you, child. To the nth degree, everything what? parried, what? everything so headshot. Twenty two, twenty years too early to beat me. <laughs> Junin, I am die You know what the worst. You know what the worst thing is. The absolute worst thing is, is that one of the shittiest Star Trek TNG episodes I can remember is now playing in the back of my mind every time this happens. There mm -hmm. is a, a fucking season, fucking three episode of. TNG where Riker doesn't get along with his dad and so they play this fucking awful martial art where they have like sticks like American Gladiators but they have to play it with helmets on that blindfold them 
Mm -hmm. And so they're playing this awful sci-fi fucking, you know, thing with the sticks. And then his dad, like, trips him. Like, he just, he puts the stick under his leg and trips him. And Riker mm -hmm. gets up like, that was an illegal move. Hey, what? You've... You've always been cheating, haven't you? And he's like, of course I have. You could beat me when you were 10. I had to cheat to keep you interested. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no. So this, this is a surefire way to create a world champion or someone that fucking hates fighting games. <laughs> Wooly, you say that now. If you get a little one, you're going to take it easy on them. No, I said round one, didn't I? Round one. I no, it round one. no, you can't. You can't be the first fucking. That's too strong. That's too much. Then the comeback, and then the joy of the comeback, and then the tight battle, and then the domination. You know. Yeah. Ah, you but round a, you one. Get a bread problem. You get a bread round problem. one is real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Well, in the in the same vein, Simo says, uh, "Hey, it's not insert funny names here." About six years ago, I wrote into the podcast uh, asking about combining the gaming hobby and raising a child. As we were yeah. about to have our first, the advice you gave was, and I quote: "Throw it off a cliff. If it climbs back, it's yours." Wow, that's just wondering. Really does lead directly from that last email that's great <laughs> is this advice still valid p.s my kid did climb back and is becoming stronger every day oh hey there you go sometimes it works sometimes the volcano is the correct option like Depends what if it's stubborn the kid is right what if you hey hashi toss but it's it's into a bouncy castle yeah right and then it's like now climb back up all right so let's see what you got. Also, you ever seen a fucking kid on a, on a climbing wall? They're amazing at it. Well, yeah, because they have no mass. Yeah. So they're like, it's kind of like how babies can swim really immediately. Good. They can also climb really, really well. Yeah, it's why, uh, it's why gymnastics in the Olympics is always such a shit show. Because gymnastics is exponentially easier for every pound you weigh less. So like, you'll get mm. gymnastics competitors being like... You're 18, right? And they're like, I am totally not a 14 year old taking growth, growth, uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. an adult. I'm a real adult. I promise. Um, I, ice skating probably as well, since it gets similar with that. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, ab just this full on Hey Hachi, um, the king of bouncy castle. Mm hmm. Um, I will not allow my child to play fighting games. I don't want them Sully. getting into that, that filth. Mm -hmm. In fact, now it's time to go start clearing up those arcades that are left over in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> time right. to write some angry letters and, and have them you know, fucking I, removed. As a concerned Wooly, parent, I don't want my child hanging around the negative elements. Wooly, I have to admit... I was actually thinking about this like a couple days ago and I'm like, you know, my mom didn't, my dad didn't give a shit, right? My dad hung out in pool halls and bars when he was a kid, right? He didn't give a fuck. My mom didn't want me hanging out at the arcade, right? When I was like 10. And I'm like, looking back, I'm like, yeah, there were a bunch of pieces of shit at that arcade. That was real. That concern did exist. I'm still glad I went, but I'm like, yo, those people were there. They were scum. Thuggery was real. We sir, we we we've moved on. We've overcame, but it it is an element. Like, it's like one of the, many. The, and you know I what? Remember... The world is full of thuggery. Yeah, it's true. It's I just the real mom, world. I told my mom when I was like ten or eleven or whatever, I was going out of the arcade and hanging out, and um, she's like, "I don't want you going down there. There are people there that are selling drugs, and there's bad elements." I'm like, "Mom, you're crazy. Though that is, I've never." encountered that that is silly i'll be fine that was a fucking lie there were totally people trying to sell me drugs and fucking being pieces of shit and threatening to beat you up off the cabinet that was a huge lie 
Did you throw Can't them while they were blocking? What's that? Did you throw them while they were blocking? Fuck yeah, I did. Well, then that's the life lesson you learn. I still remember I was like when Tekken 3 came out, I went down and I fucking chain throwed some 16 year olds as king and I had to fucking haul my ass out of there because they were going to kill me. Threaten that baby with a knife because it tick throwed you. The fuck else you going to do? <laughs> you didn't know how to escape. It was my turn. I was blocking. That was cheap. You fucking. Mm. I, you know, every time you say tick throw, and I think I say it most of the time. I think about the Street Fighter 4 review period in which part of the review for Street Fighter 4 from 1UP was that tick throwing had become contentious and that like it was the source of like daily screaming matches that were almost escalating to fist fights because half the staff would be like tick throws are part of the game you fucking full of shit and the other half were like I swear to god if you tick throw me I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> And, it, and, like, that uh, was part of the review, which right, was, yeah, right. no, people will be contentious. Because, mm -hmm. you know, nobody, nowhere was there an instructional manual that said, hold up. So. Um, Check the throw. Just that's too much, too much timing involved. Hold up. Uh, here. Uh, Kino Pat says, Dear homeowner Willie and bone owner Pat, that's how we're doing it. <laughs> Congratulations on your latest accomplishments. Uh, like a lot of your eyes, been following your content for many years. It's been exciting to see and hear how things are progressing. Uh, pray for many years happiness and fulfillment on the character development to come. Wishing you all the best now and in the future. There you go. And many oh, well that's wishes. A sweet message. Many well oh. wishes of this nature. Thank you. Um, Thank you, everyone, for your well wishes. Mm -hmm. uh, can I summarize um, a plethora of yeah, letters in, into one question? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Pat. Yeah. Will you be this baby's white parent or its normal parent? I'm going to be its black parent. I'm going to do my best. Okay. I might need some advice. Okay. <laughs> well... <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to help you out there, but I might be too too. I might give you too much normal advice. Yeah, too much. So I might I might I might not be able to elicit the other kind of advice. So what's what what I feel like is totally been missed is will I be this baby's French parent or normal parent? To me, that would have been the fucking actual aim, but everybody missed that one. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah, but you know, you get why. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. No, I, I am. Okay. Uh, here we go. Brent says, "Hello, Science Project Willie and Pre Dad Pat. Wanted to give a piece of practical advice um, as a father to myself. Everyone mm -hmm. gives advice that's super obvious. Love, support your kids. Yada yeah. yada. Uh, but I have some practical advice that'll help you out right away with a new baby." Don't yep. button up onesies. Don't buy mm -hmm. button up onesies. Only get zip ups. Doesn't matter how cute the button up is, it ain't worth it. When it's 3 a.m. and you're on your third diaper change of the night and you're fighting an infant to snap dozens of buttons up, it's an absolute nightmare. It's the dark souls of diaper changes. A zip up solves all the issues and gets your kid back in your arms in seconds. Congrats. And uh, I have more simple tips if needed. Yeah. I have also, I have already received this advice. In fact, I believe it was the first. So, like, I'm getting a lot of unsolicited advice, and the vast mm -hmm. majority of it is, like, pretty pleasant and, like, very useful. So, that's pot. Because, you know, you're always going to get unsolicited advice, and, like, of you're course. kind of bracing yourself for, like, the shitty unsolicited advice mm -hmm. that is, like, personal. Like, don't raise your kid. Like, No, it's actually all been, like, 99% has been, like, really nice and positive. That was the first one I got, and that was from a neighbor of ours when we went over that barbecue. Like, you know, the one barbecue I mentioned, like, a couple mm -hmm. months ago? Since that was in meat space, Paige walked in the door and our next door neighbor went, oh, are you? Oh. So like they knew, right? And so mm -hmm. we ended up talking then and uh, an older lady was like, don't get button up onesies. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it so much. You're going to hate it. You're going to be trying to do it and the baby's going to fight you and it, you're going to need to get it off quick and you're just... Get zippers. Now there is a point 
a side note where uh, Paige can walk in and people can go, oh, are you? And she can go, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, okay. So get this. Get I this. Just... So one of our neighbors had a, a, a different barbecue a few weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. And so we go down there and we're making nice with, you know, people from the community. We're, we're integrating that kind of thing. And a lady looks at her and goes, hey, I need a smoke, but I can't smoke around the pregnant lady. I got to get out of here. And she leaves. And I swear to God, my wife starts looking around going where's the and then goes oh i'm the pregnant lady every now and then every now and then you just forget for a second nice <laughs> uh what are you talking yeah. about yeah what are you talking what what oh it's weird um Okay, uh, here's one coming in from Buck, who says, uh, hey, up, Wooly and the boomer formerly known as Pat, uh, what is here. your go-to celebration meal? I'm graduating university, and I can't think of what I'd like to do besides get something to eat. There's a lot of stuff to eat around, but yada yada. I've been listening for a while, looking for looking to figure out what the recommendation would be. I don't really have um, a, a go-to celebration meal. Uh, I do, because I, I certainly had one. When I came off of the shakes-only phase of my my uh, my current program, I celebrated. I told I talked about it before, but it's cut a wagyu. If you oh, are yeah. down, if you're down and willing to and can afford to and feel like going stupid on a piece of food, uh, get yourself a, a nice little, like, 14-ounce... Wag you strip and uh, fucking do that up right on the grill. Um, that's worth it. That's ridiculously worth it. Um, and that's celebratory. You can only do that every once in a while. You know what? Uh, I have an answer, but it's actually super fucking lame. Um, and it's actually uh, it's actually Wendy's. Um, oh, yeah. Going, okay. Going right. to Wendy's for mm -hmm. a hamburger. Um, because... Um, well, the, the two reasons. One, you remember Montreal? You still live there? Uh, the Wendy's are fucking far apart. They are fucking far. There are not many, and it is always like, oh, I'll go down to the fucking Wendy's. It'll take me an hour, but whatever. Uh, but the the real reason is because like back on like uh, Thursdays or Fridays, depending on the day that we did groceries, I would go help my mom out with groceries, and then we would go to Wendy's every week, and I would just hang out with my mom. And mm. therefore, I have like this like emotional connection to Wendy's mm -hmm. that like makes me think of like just having a nice dinner with my mom and going out to eat. And, and she asked me how schools, you know, that kind of crap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I similar to something like there, there was a period where my dad was really like, my dad really likes Harvey's. And so like, I do have some similar kind of association there, but um, if I was trying to celebrate, I'm not hitting up like fast food. Like I'm, I, I I, you know what? I have another suggestion, actually. I don't know what the equivalent yeah, would be. because you're not a piece of shit like me? Uh, <laughs> no, no. I have some piece of shit tendencies that are, I, I mean, I'm going to, I would sloppy steak in a minute. Don't, don't you, you think fucking, for a second. You fucking asshole with this oh, shit. Huge piece of shit. Used to be a huge piece of shit. Then I made it to Dan Flashes and the rest is Have history. you ever actually fucking slopped a steak? <laughs> <laughs> have you had the fuck? You've been doing the sloppy steak joke for like a year. Have you actually had the balls to slop your steak? You know what? I technically slopped a steak in its own blood. How That's about that? fucking bullshit. I slopped a steak. I you I should you fucking cook and fucking slop a steak on your fucking show and just pour a full glass of fucking water in and slop that shit up and uh, eat it. But if the waiter catches us, then we got to get the fuck out of there because, you know, yeah, the it's, waiter's it's, you in this situation. It's a, it's a rough time. Slop them up, boys. Huge piece of shit. All right. Um, I don't know what the equivalent of rockaberries would be <laughs> wherever the fuck you're we talking about here. But apple crumble cheesecake is a, an apple pie, a cheesecake and an apple crumble texture all at the same time. Oh, that time. sounds like poison. Delicious poison. It, 
it is the best dessert I've ever had. And I don't know how you can get the equivalent of that. But if you can get something like that, that shit is ridiculous and fucking amazing. Um, though I did hear recently, I just discovered that in America, some places they have, um, there's, there's bakeries where they do left, they have like leftover cakes that are not like, you know, uh, they're, once it's, the, the day's gone, the cake ain't fresh anymore. So they take a yeah. full slice of cake and they put it at the bottom of a shake and then put a milkshake yeah. on top and then wow. you drink the milkshake. And then at the bottom, you have a full slice of cake stuffed into That's the cup. fucked up. Madness. That Unadulterated madness. Up. I don't know what y'all are doing down there, but I just heard about that, and it's, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Americans yeah. will do fucking zany a shit cake with shake. food. You think it'd be like a a, a cake flavor, a shake flavored, a cake flavored shake, but it is yeah, not. Yeah, but no, it is it's an, a fucking shake with a fucking piece cake, of cake at, the at the bottom of it. And when you when you eat that thick heavy heavy milkshake and you finish it the reward is a giant slice of cake that's covered in milkshake yes and whatever other icing madness so, you can't do this stop in you america can, you can you can go that way with it america explain um uh simple one over fuck here off. i in. just saw someone in the chat go we use every part of the cake go fuck every <laughs> They do. That's how cake pops got invented. <laughs> Use every part of the cake. Otherwise, Shut it up. goes to waste. <laughs> oh, fucking America, man. Um, here. Uh, real quick one. Uh, James mm -hmm. wants to know, uh, based on the clip of uh, Pat explaining that about his internal monologue and memories yeah. and such this got me thinking anytime you've ever thought remembered or heard the n-word do you hear it in your own voice yeah. <laughs> yeah okay does it have a hard r or does it does it soft depends who i'm <laughs> quoting in my mind okay all right well yeah fair enough um and uh yeah, last one over here. Uh, this one coming in. Um, greetings from Saskatchewan, fellas. Uh, been a fan for a while now. Um, I have a problem. Basically describing the desire to get into fighting games, watching and hearing us talk about them, and Street Fighter Six getting exciting. However, jumping into Street Fighter Five, they got crushed uh, entirely because everyone on it is like killer now yeah yeah because it's the end of the game's life cycle so do i continue trying or do i wait for the launch of six wait. and i mean if you don't like if the feeling of 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 what's going on there is is feels bad then yeah you're you're jumping in at the end of the marathon right everyone is at the finish line long ahead um yeah so, you know, there's that. But, you know, there's also I mean, of course, I'm it's not to say go out and like spend a ton on other things. There's other fighting games out there. There's free experiences that you can you can um Street Fighter 6 is down and the road. It's just a month get or two used away. To. But it's it's about but it, 6 right is there. about to drop. So, you'll be able to have fun and start with everybody at the same time for sure. Um Hey, I want to I want to follow up with the earlier question again i feel like people are missing like the good joke for the obvious one because the real question is not whether or not i hear the n-word in my head the question is is it me doing the dmx fake dog noises at the beginning of his songs because yeah it is Oh my god. I I I haven't even begun to enter the realm of recalling Okay, so Whitney Houston, the bodyguard, and I will always love you. Yeah. Like that's you hitting that's those me. notes. I'm oh singing my... to Richard Gear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I can't. I can't go back down this. Is road. Richard Gere in that movie? I feel like it is. I can't. I can't go back down this road. Um, uh, Denzel. Anyway, is it? Fucking. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Every everything. Every every sing uh Every one of those musicals it's that you Kevin talked Costner? about. Really? Oh. Fuck. Every time Did I you talked wished it was Richard Gere? Yeah, probably maybe. Every time you talked about cats or or uh uh the other fucking one you watched the other day. West Side mm. Story or whatever. I did not fucking watch West Side Story the other what day. What was it? You I've watched Cats seen... and you watched another musical. I watched Cats. Cats not a dog. Shut the fuck up, Judy. 